In this code sample, we use a table. Its name is members. Currently, the table is empty. In order to add new rows to this table, we define the class users that wrap the access to this table. Here, when we define the protected variable underscore name, assigned with the name of the table, later an object instantiated from this class, we will be able to use it in order to work with that specific table. Here in our controller, I instantiate the users class and then I call the function create row, a function inherited from Zend DB table. I get an object that represents a new row. Then I specify the values in each one of the columns as if I was using an object that represents that row. Accessing members, their names are the names of the columns. As you can see, we have ID and username. So I specify the values I want to be assigned to ID and username. And then when I call the method save, I actually I save back the new data to the table. Here I just specify the message I want to be um, rendered to the screen when the execution use the view, the view of the add users action. So right now, if we go over here and try to access the users control together with the add users action, so we get a new message back to the screen and then if we check the table, as you can see, the new row was successfully added.